hello friends welcome to our channel google galaxy today we are going to discuss how to write the list structures we know that the covalent bond is generally formed between the atoms of non metal and these may be either same or different in case of combining atoms are the same the covalent bond is known as homoatomic if they are different we call it as heteroatomic when we say the two common atoms both of the atoms are of same type so we called it as homoatomic if i am having the hcl we called it as heteroatomic why is it so because both of atoms both atom contributing their electrons are not of are not of same type so we call it as heteroatomic we call it as homo atomic we also know that that the bond existent between the because because of these electrons the bond exists between the these two nitrogen atoms we call these electrons as shared pair of electrons while the electron which are not contributing in the which are not contributing in the formation of any bond we call it as lone pair this thing must be learned that these types of electrons which are not contributing in for, in the formation of bond we call it as lone pair pair means combination of two pair means combination of two electrons and these electrons are known as shared pair of electrons shared pair of shared pair of electrons clear next we are having the uh, next uh, today we are going to do um, as i told earlier that we are going to discuss the how to write the list structures one thing to be learn that only valence electron will participate in covalent bond valence electron participation is available participate none other than valence electron valence electron will participate first we need what we need to do is, there are a few steps the after get after knowing the five steps we are able to write the list structure the step one is whenever you see a molecule you need to count the you need to count the valence electron of the atom involving in a particular molecule and add them up if i am having the molecule no3 minus the first step is count valence electron count valence electron of the atoms involved how many atoms are involved overall four atoms are involved three oxygen and one nitrogen in a particular molecule or ion since it is a, it is behaving as an ion we need to add them up so we can say total number of atoms can be calculated as for nitrogen we are having the electronic configuration of for nitrogen we are having the electronic configuration of atomic number 7 2.5 so five electrons are acting as valence electron similarly we are having the oxygen oxygen having the atomic number 8 2,6 how many oxygens are present three oxygens are present so overall 6 3 ka 18 so 18 electrons 6 3 6 multiplied by 3 is a to overall 18 atoms from oxygen side and the five atoms from the nitrogen side we are going to add them as i told you we need to count the valence electron and add them and add them so how many electrons are present right here right now in the step 1 in the step 1 on this species 5 plus 18 is equals to 23 now the second step is to is to uh, check the whether whether a species are negative charge or a positive charge if a positive charge is there we uh, we need to deduct one electron 
we need to reduce the one electron in this case the species is anionic that is negative charge and we and we are going to add the number of electrons corresponding to the negative charge of the total I mean to say when we write this step 2 what we need to do is we need to we need to uh, we need uh, if anionic if the species is anionic over here, here species is acting as anionic so what we will do we will do we will add electrons as according to the negative charge if it is 2 minus we will then we will add 2 to uh, 2 with this value if it is a single one uh, if it is a single negative value is given uh, is present then what we need, then we will add to a single value i can say since the species step 2 since the species is negative charge is negative charge and 9 the actual electron considered as 23 plus 1 that is 24 if an is if an ion is present same as over here then what we need to do is we need to add electron to corresponding value to the corresponding to the negative charges of the total this one is total we need to add the negative charge so how we can say add add electrons with the with the total with the total if cationic is given to us NH4 plus so in this structure while writing the Lewis structure the second step is to we need to detect we need to subtract we need to subtract electron from the total from the total from the total this one is a second step after getting this in second step uh, we are having the step 3 this step 3 is to select this central atom one point to be noted that generally how to select central atom central atom this one is the most important thing while writing the Lewis structures how to select the Lewis central atom generally we always used to prefer the least electronegative element in nature we need to select the least electro negative atom as a central atom okay after that we need to write the skeletal structure on the basis of intelligence guess how we can write the skeletal st structure on the basis of intelligence guess according to my intelligence guess nitrogen will be acting as a central atom Achha, we also need to remember another thing we need we need to always remember that monoatomic atoms mono atomic atoms such as hydrogen fluorine chlorine wherever you seen you will always place at the terminal position not acting as a central atom wherever these type, these kinds of atoms are present we always use we always place or I, or, or I can say these atoms occupy always always terminal position terminal position as I told earlier that how we can select the central atom it's all up to our intelligence guess that how intelligent how easily we can guess okay uh, this is a whole about the intelligence case when we select the central atom now how, how many oxygen is present over here three so we can write three around the central atom these are the steps for the writing the writing the Lewis structures 
okay after getting the uh, these are the three steps the next steps we are going to we always need to place a shared pair of electron first the point to me remember this is most important point the third and the fourth points are the most important while attempting any or while writing the Lewis structures if you forgot three and four step you are not able to draw the Lewis structures properly okay in order to complete the octet we always need to place one shared pair of electrons we always we always uh, we always need to place the first we always initially or I can say initially in the starting we always need to place one shared paired electron one shared electron pair one shared between between we initially uh, place one shared electron between every pair between every pair of atoms here we can say the in a pair of atoms we always need to place one shared of electrons before one through one we always need to write the shared pair first then we will write the lone pair the electrons left behind after completing their octet okay so uh, remember this point that the uh, the remaining electrons either acting as multiple bond or they may act as lone pair as I already told to you so first we need to initially we need to place the electron pair between every pair of atoms this is the pair of electron first we need to write the from the one electron from oxygen one, one of an uh, atom from the uh, nitrogen that both both will contribute the only single electron first we will need to draw the shared pair of electrons okay so uh, how many nitro nitrogen is getting one two three four five six it means that it needs another shared, shared pair of electrons so I will write now count the uh, octet of nitrogen one two three four five six seven eight now the octet of nitrogen is completely filled oxygen of the nitrogen is completely filled so overall atoms are 24 so 24 minus 8 24 minus 8 so its value will be 16 so I'll repeat again the four step is the one of the most important step while writing the Lewis structures that we always need to place one shared paired electrons initially we initially in the, in the first attempt we always need to always place first shared paired of electrons and the remaining electrons after placing the shared paired of electrons the remaining electrons the remaining electrons acting act as multiple bond multiple bond or lone pair so here we know that the octet of the nitrogen is completed now so here 16 electrons are left left it means divided by 2 8 pairs we need to place with the in this 8 pairs is acting as a lone pair is acting as a lone pair so how we can write it as we can write as now overall one one two three four five six seven eight eight pairs I have right so we can say the so uh, first this is whole about the structure of Lewis structures or we can write it as you always need to follow this rule while attempting any type of or any numerical regarding any numerical relate to Lewis structures 
that we always need to consider first the shared pair of electrons always write shared pair of electron first then after that you need to write the multiple bond or I can say lone pair always try to draw the single bond first if the octet of the central atom is not completed then draw the multiple bond then draw the multiple bond after writing the multiple bond the remaining electrons will acting as a lone pair after writing the lone pair we can, we can count and, fi and find that octet of all the three oxygens complete now so overall the structure would be this one is the structure of the this is how to write the Lewis structure